everybody welcome in to a little chit chat i haven't i'm just doing my makeup i'm gonna film some videos soon um but i haven't done a sit down chit chat video in so long like almost two years yeah almost two years so i thought why not why not just catch up so i'm actually going to australia tomorrow super excited my first international trip and again almost two years since i got back from japan two years ago almost two years ago does anyone now still feel like they're still in 2020 because me too i feel like i haven't progressed i haven't like progressed mentally you know what i mean like i feel like we're still going through the same issues that we were going through in 2020 if that makes sense i don't know maybe that's just me but uh, i guess i think it's just covid right and so you know you know what I mean. I don't know. If you get it, you get it. But yeah, I feel like I'm still in 2020. It's weird that we're not. Anyways. But yeah, I enjoy watching videos like this. Just, you know, it gives me, a, um, gives me something to listen to while I go do chores and whatnot. So maybe this is a good video for you today. So I hope you're all doing very well. Um, what has everyone been up to? I want to know. I love learning about people's lives and what they've achieved and what they've been doing. I'm always really interested. So if you want to leave a comment, feel free to down below. Um, but yeah, so let me catch you up on some things. I, um, I applied for a job recently. And it's one of my dream jobs. So please pray for me, you guys. I went to the interview yesterday. I don't think it went well though. So I'll keep you updated on that. I don't think it went well, so don't hold don't hold high hopes. Um I just feel like I messed up the interview. Like I'm usually good at interviews, I'm usually good at connecting with people, but I just couldn't connect with the I had two interviewers at the same time. I just I couldn't they're like stone walls, you know, so I couldn't quite connect with them as well as I, I can with other people usually, um, which was difficult, made my job a lot harder to kind of like do the interview. Usually I'm good at interviews, but this one was a challenge. So that's why I just don't think I did very well. Some of my answers were very questionable, that's for sure. Just didn't, didn't portray me the best way. Um, so I'll let you know how it goes. I hope I get it, but I, I just don't think I, I just don't think I did. So, you know, I'm not holding high hopes, but I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to know in the next like seven days, I think. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I actually only applied to it maybe like for two weeks ago. And I already had a video interview, like an um, online one, you know, where they just send you questions and you have to record yourself. Oh, is that what that is? That little sparkle is my mirror, I think. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, anyways, so it's one of those online questionnaires. So they ask you the question and you record yourself answering the question but you can't you can't pause it you can't redo it you can't erase it so you get one shot you get one minute preparation time so you see the question get 60 seconds preparation time and then it's all or nothing baby you better not mess it up because that's your one shot but i did much better in the video interview than i did in the real life interview which is like oh oh gosh dang it so gosh i'll see how it goes yesterday it was like a two-part thing it was like a group interview thing there were i think like 30 people there and um the first half was individual interviews the second half was like a group exercise to see how well you worked in the team and i feel like i'm usually i think i'm always good at working with people so that part of it i'm not worried about because I don't know, I, I just naturally work in a team pretty well, no matter who it is. But the individual interview is where I think that's where I got the cut, you guys. <laughs> that's where I got the cut. So we'll see how it goes. 
Um, what else, what else, what else has been happening? It's been like a year and a half. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram. Although I don't really post on Instagram too much anymore as well. It's crazy, you guys. Um, what, what have I been doing? It's always like, when you really think about it, what have I been doing? <laughs> Just normal stuff, hey? Just normal stuff. I stream on Twitch, which is super fun. Um, hang out with friends every now and again. I'm very much a homebody, but I think like I'm a homebody, but um, I miss I miss interaction. I love customer service jobs, which is um, why I'm going into the job that I applied for. It's like definitely customer service based. So, yeah. But yeah, I've got a marketing job at the moment working from home which has been wonderful wonderful working from home for sure especially because i have my youtube channel and my twitch um channel and i can really work around those times with my job you know what i mean so that's been wonderful but yeah just the human interaction i've really been craving the past two years so i think it's time to go get a job where i get to talk to people yes i love it i love talking to people I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I love my alone time, but I also love interacting. Anywho, what comes next? Um, 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 <laughs> um, what should I put on next? Oh, we could put on bronzer. Um, I'm trying to use up my makeup before buying any, any new any new products you know what I mean I don't want to buy like five of the same item and like not finish any of them here's my makeup routine guys I would you know I was just putting on my makeup to film some videos I was like wow I really feel like catching up you guys on my life although nothing really is new like I feel like nothing really is new um Maybe that's why I still feel like I'm in, tw I'm in 2020. <laughs> no big life changes. Um, just living here in New Zealand. I'm in Wellington, New Zealand, if you didn't know. Um, and um, yeah, we're going to be here for the next two or three years. My fiance is in school here. He's doing accounting and... Uh, Accounting and economics, a double degree, which is super exciting. He's using his GI Bill to study here, which is super cool because we didn't know that he could use it here. Super handy because the international student fees are crazy, guys. Oh my gosh, it's so much money. Um, but he gets it for free. So he's really been enjoying that. He's so outgoing. He's made so many friends here in New Zealand he has more friends than I do <laughs> he's, he's super outgoing super friendly so I'm a little bit more reserved sometimes so he's living his best life down here in New Zealand so we don't know what exactly what the plan is for after he finishes school but we definitely want to move away from New Zealand um, New Zealand is really wonderful, but very small. There's less than 5 million people here, so we just feel like there's so much more in the world that we can experience, you know? And, um, so yeah, the options are the USA, of course. We really want to move to Canada, perhaps, or Australia. But I think we're heading towards the USA just because his family is there. And visas, right? How are we going to get a visa for Canada? <laughs> How are we going to get a visa for Canada? I, d I wouldn't know. Maybe a working holiday visa, but... But yeah, and Australia. Maybe Australia in the future, but... Australia is quite similar to New Zealand, so... We wanted something different. So... Yeah. 
that's the plan. But yeah, so a few more years in New Zealand. We wanted to uh, we wanted to visit the USA this year, but the flight tickets are so crazy expensive, you guys. Um, New Zealand to LA isn't too bad, but the price of the ticket pretty much doubles if we try to get to the East Coast. The flight the flights from the West Coast to the East Coast of the USA is crazy expensive, and vice versa. It's crazy, so we're like, mm, maybe not this year. Maybe we cannot afford that. And the, also the exchange rate between the New Zealand dollar and the US dollar is very iffy if we're trying to go over there. It's quite bad. Other way around is good though, but... Which is good for him, for my fiancé, because he gets VA checks. So they come through in US dollar and we transfer it to New Zealand dollars and it's very good. It's a very nice jump up. So yeah. Oh, I wish I could talk to you guys right now. I want to know what you guys are getting up to. What's new? What's new? I'm so used to talking on Twitch, you know. On Twitch it's like we can interact through the comments uh, or through the chat rather at, in real time. So I'm so used to that. YouTube is definitely a different kind of platform. It's very one way, I feel like. Um, I love YouTube, but Twitch is definitely very much more interactive, which I do love. Like, I feel lonely, guys. But I know that you're watching this now, and, you know, I know that someone's going to be watching eventually, hopefully, so I don't feel so lonely anymore. Um, what else? What else has happened? I don't know. It's hard to. Know. I've been on a few vacations here in New Zealand, which be which has been awesome. I went to Queenstown, guys. I did a bungee. If I if I am able to edit it in a clip, I'll do it here. Watch me bungee jump. It was so scary. Forever going to be etched in my mind is one of the most crazy, exciting, adventurous thing I've ever done. Definitely the scariest thing I've ever done. Um, like, what? Oh my gosh. I still remember it like it was yesterday, honestly. That was down in Queenstown, which is in the South Island of New Zealand. Queenstown is a beautiful spot if you ever come to New Zealand definitely go to Queenstown. It literally is a town but it's very much touristy but in a very good way. They they have winter activities. They have really good slopes there for snowboarding and skiing and this in the winter and in the summertime they've got water, water activities on the lake oh guys it's a vibe i really want to buy like a house down there one day like one of my dreams one of my big dreams but like a holiday home but that's like not gonna happen anytime soon in my wildest dreams okay i'm really messing this up right now oh my god You know how I said I wanted to use up all my makeup products? Well, I think this one is on its last legs. I don't know, I think I just applied it really badly. Oh, that's awkward. That's a very, very bad eyeliner, you guys. What is going on? Oh my gosh, you guys. It's really hot in here now because I'm stressed. Hold on. I've got the heater on. Okay, that's better. Oh, it's hot because <laughs> I'm stressed out. <laughs> ah. So yeah, we're going to Australia tomorrow at seven o'clock in the morning. Oh, I hope that we're able to go. I'm a little bit stressed about the border control stuff with COVID and you know, stuff like that. You just never know what these rules are. So I think we've done enough. 
we've done the COVID vax printout. We've done the international vaccine passport, whatever it is, you know, I printed all of that out. And then last minute, um, this afternoon, I was like to my fiance, I was like, um, do you need a visa to enter Australia? Because for me, I'm a Kiwi and we don't need a visa to enter Australia or live or work there, right? We can just freely travel between the two countries apart from COVID, which was crazy. But, um, so, yeah, I was like, I was like to him, do you need a visa? I was like, holy shit. I'm pretty sure he needs a visa to enter Australia. This was today. We're going tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, um, yeah, um, should we check that? We checked. I'm like, oh my gosh, you need, you need a travel exemption. You know how America, oh, maybe you don't, but America has a, the same thing. It's like a visa exemption for a, a selected amount of countries. So anytime that I go to America, I need to get an ESTA. And I think that's that's what it's called anyways and it lasts like two years or something um and it costs like twenty dollars and we're like oh no so then we filled out his information and we're like oh no so it's and then it said okay it will be processed within 12 hours and we're like oh my gosh we leave more than 12 hours away because it was like business hours or something like that we're stressed we're like oh no what have we done what have we done we're so stupid how could we think how could we not think about the fact that he needed like some kind of visa to enter australia you know he's from america by the way if you didn't know um and so what ended up happening was we ended up, oh, so yeah, so we filled it out and we're stressed out, you guys, we're stressed out. And I was like, keep an eye on your emails, keep an eye on your emails. Oh gosh. But then he got an email pretty much straight away saying, it's been accepted. I think that pretty much takes more than 12 hours if you've got something that dings the radar. Like, I don't know if you have a criminal conviction or something like that, you know, so he has none of those. So they pretty much just kind of wave them through. So wish us luck, guys, that we get through. I hope so. I hope so, you guys. But you never know, hey? You never know. And also, oh gosh. I tried to, I tried to check in online and it kind of messed up. So stressed out. I'm a stressor, guys. I'm a stressor. I like everything to be organized. Otherwise, I'm stressed. I'm one of those people that get to the airport really early. I'm one of those annoying people. But also, I love the airport. So, I don't mind it. But anyone who doesn't like the airport who's traveling with me, they're like, girl, hold on. I need to sneeze. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I feel. Why do I need to sneeze every time I need to put mascara on? It did smudge. It did smudge. Every time, guys. Every time I put mascara on. Every time. I need to sneeze. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Apparently it's impossible to sneeze with your eyes open. That's a rumor that went around in my elementary school. And apparently your eyes fall out if you don't close your eyes when you sneeze or something. True or false? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully we get to Australia. We're going to Melbourne for five days. Um, my fiance has a video game tournament over there. He loves Super Smash Brothers, if you guys have played that before. Caroline is going off outside. Um... Yeah, he's pretty good at it. So anytime he's a tournament, I'm like, oh, good excuse for me to come along. You know? So that's what we're doing. We're going to be there for five days. I think I just said that. We're originally going to be there for three days, but we ended up extending it for another two. Because we're like, why not? Why not? Oh my gosh, what is that noise? Outside. Is that someone's car? 
Anywho. It is somebody's cat. Is it like this steering? It's making a loud squeaking noise. It's hard to talk when I'm putting on lip stuff. <laughs> so silent. <laughs> and then last step. My lipstick. This is a lipstick that I'm trying to use up. See, this is an example. This has been sitting in my makeup for a long time. It's not my favorite color, but um, it actually came part of a gift pack that I bought a long time ago. I was like, I need to, I need to use this up because otherwise it's a waste. It's a waste otherwise. I try to be really like, these days I, I, I try not to buy too much stuff because I always regret it. I always regret buying too much stuff. And um, I experienced that in, um, in, uh, in Palmerston North when I first moved to Japan. I threw out so much stuff, such a waste. And then coming back from Japan to New Zealand, threw out so much stuff. I'm like, oh my God, what a waste. And most of the stuff I didn't even use. So I try to be really thoughtful about what I buy these days but this was back when I wasn't oh no this one was a good deal because I got a makeup case in it and it's like a blush and powder and it was really cheap actually and this just came with it so and I'm using it now not that you guys probably care I don't know I'm just kind of saying anything at this point if you are still here thank you for listening to me go on and on about nothing I don't know, I just thought this would be a... <laughs> it's not the best... Oh, it's not the best colour, hey? It kind of ages me. A, it kind of ages me, but... Let's not... Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that right now. <laughs> it really does age me. Oh, well, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? So, yeah, I thought we'd just do a catch-up today. I just really felt like talking to you all. I really don't know what else to catch you up on though, you know. Um, I still live in the same place. I'm in a new room though. I The other week I switched my like study area slash office area with the bedroom. And this is such a much better space. But yeah, still the same place. Still in my tiny little apartment here in Wellington. Um... And honestly, just same old, same old. Nothing new, apart from going to Australia tomorrow. And I applied for my job, but I don't think I'm going to get it. So maybe still nothing new. But, um, yeah, just trucking along how it is. Just trucking along. Um, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. It's been a long time since I've done, like, a sit down video i actually filmed a sit down video maybe like six months ago but i never ended up finishing it which was a bit silly of me i think i was like yeah i don't know i don't know what happened to that maybe i i don't know where, what happened to that i either didn't end up fil uh, finishing filming it or editing i can't remember i think i stopped it halfway through filming but yeah I hope you're all doing well. Um, and let me know what you've been up to the past couple of years. Have you... Any achievements? Post any achievements down below. I love listening to people, uh, reading about people's achievements. I feel like people need to be celebrated for their achievements much more in this world. Um, I don't know. I just feel like there's so much negativity on... On... I don't know... TikTok comments. Oh my gosh. If you guys have TikTok, the comments are brutal. And uh yeah, a lot of a lot of negativity and life in general. Or well, the internet rather, right? So anyway, that's really besides the point of what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> I'm t making this much bigger than what it needs to be like girl stop <laughs> like I'm trying to be like 
a philosophical philosophical or something like girl stop no i do just want to hear about your achievements or what you've done in the past two years um anything as small as as small as i don't know going for a run or as big as it can get so let me know let me know what you've been doing i'm very very interested again i love reading about people's achievements i think i've said that like four or five times today i'm sure you've gotten the message now but thank you so much if you've gotten this far this 25 minute video roundabout I might edit it down to about 23 minutes um but yeah just a casual video just to catch up hope you're all doing well and uh hopefully i make it to australia tomorrow fingers crossed i love you guys and see you in my next video bye bye